It's time for another international tour of misogyny, and we'll get the good, the bad, and the ugly along the way. First up, the good. And if I wanted you to guess which country this story is coming from, I'd probably have to give you 195 guesses, because that's how many countries there are. But believe it or not, I've got good news out of Bangladesh. But of course, as with all the good news we do on this segment, it really is a case of learning another thing I should have been pissed off about last week that I don't really have to be pissed about anymore. So as of this week, apparently, Bangladesh women will no longer have to declare whether or not they're virgins on their marriage documents. That's right. Up until basically now, that was the fucking law. And like most of the progress for women, and that comes from that part of the world, it came from the courts. Last Sunday, a court ruled that women were unduly humiliated by having to publicly declare that kind of information. And as fucked up as it is that women have to be humiliated for not being virgins, I'll still call this one progress. And our next story is about progress too, although it doesn't look like it from the headlines. Our next up is Iran, where 20-year-old activist Saba Kord Afshari was recently sentenced to 24 years in prison for, quote, spreading corruption and prostitution by taking off her hijab and walking around without a veil, end quote. They also got her on spreading propaganda against the state and assembly and collusion. But all three of those are pretty evil laws to even have, so it's not like that exonerates the Iranian government or anything. According to news reports, Afshari was pressured to make confessional videos, and when she refused, they arrested her mother just to be dicks. Now, like I said, this might not sound like a story about progress, and I very clearly put it in the bad section of my trio here, but Afshari was arrested for participating in a demonstration against the regime's oppressive sexism, and I'm seeing more and more stories like this every week. I'm sure it's cold comfort if you're facing two dozen years in an Iranian prison, but the fact that they're being forced to those measures to tamp down on the protest is a pretty good sign that they're working. And finally, let me turn to the ugly. And I know I've already talked about virginity declarations on government documents and scores of years in prison for vulgar display of forehead. So I guess any of these stories would have fit here. But the one I have kind of excels at fitting here. And for this one, our tour comes all the hell way back to the U.S. of A. So Hank Kuhnman is a Nebraska pastor who once appeared on Jim Baker and spoke only in tongues while his wife translated in English, which is amazing and makes my skin crawl. Anyway, he decided to offer up his opinion on why America has such a problem with school shootings, and it turns out it's the demons. But not just any demons. It's the abortion demons. Because according to Kuhnman, legal abortion gives demons a blood right to bring violence into public schools. Because if you think about it, abortion is just like tiny little human sacrifices, you see? All right. Well, I've asked you to think about something Hank Kuhnman said, so I can't exactly ask you for anything else this week. So on that note, I'll go ahead and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.